In this video, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this problem here. We have x to the fourth minus 3x to the third plus 2x squared divided by 2x squared minus 10x plus 12. So we're trying to simplify this rational expression. First thing we want to do is we want to see if there's a GCF on top and bottom. So G GCF, greatest common factor, so something that we can be taken out of all three terms. So I look at the coefficients first. I have a 1, a 3, and a 2, or negative 3 and 2. Can't do anything with that, so I'm going to leave that alone. Next, I go to the variables. I have x to the fourth, x to the third, x to the squared. See how in all three terms I had x to some power? So now what we want to think about is how many x's can I take out from all three terms? And I can take out two because all three of them have at least two. This one has x uh, squared because it's x to the fourth. This one has x squared because it's x to the third, so there's at least two. And then this one has two exactly. So I'm going to take out x to the second out of the top. And when I do that, what I'm doing, I'll just do that off to the side here. What I'm doing is I'm dividing each term by that GCF. So then I get x to the second minus 3x plus 2. x to the fourth over x squared is 4 minus 2, which is 2. Negative 3, x to the third over x squared is negative 3 over 1. So we keep that negative 3. x to the third over x squared, 3 minus 2 is 1. And then x squareds will cancel on that last term, so we're just left with plus 2. So factor out that x squared, I am now left with x to the second minus 3x plus 2 on the top. Next, I want to do the same exercise, find a GCF, but this time I have a GCF on the, con uh, the coefficients, a 2, negative 10, and 12. So I'm going to take out a 2, because so 2 goes into 2, 2 goes into 10, 2 goes into 12. So I'm going to take out a 2. I cannot take out an x, though, because this is x to the second, this is x to the first, and this doesn't have an x. So all three of them would need some sort of factor of x. I don't have that, so I am um, i can't take out an x, so I'm going to take out just the 2, leaving me with x to the second. So what I'm doing is I'm dividing each of these by 2, so that's going to be x to the second. Negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5x. 12 divided by 2 is 6. All right, so cool. We have that those terms factored out. Now next, I'm not out of the woods yet. We want to see if we can factor, meaning the, the trinomials, meaning on the x squared minus 3x plus 2, we have this trinomial in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is equal to 1. So on the top, what we're looking for is we're looking for two numbers that multiply to 2 and add up to a negative 3. And in some cases we could factor, in some cases we can't, so then we wouldn't really do anything with simplifying. But in this case, if I want two numbers that multiply to 2, add up to a negative 3, that's going to be a negative 2 and a negative 1, because negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. Those are going to be my factors, so, so, so I do have something that can, I can factor that. So I'm going to have x squared, that original GCF that we factored out. You don't want to just drop that, that's coming along for the ride. And then we're going to write this as x minus 2 times x minus 1. Because it was negative 2 and negative 1. On the bottom, let's see if we can factor that. In some cases we can't, so let's just see. So on the bottom, we want two numbers that multiply to positive 6, add up to negative 5. So I want it to multiply to a positive, same thing that I had before. And I want it to add up to a negative. So that tells me that I'm looking for negative times a negative is a positive, negative plus a negative is a negative. So what combinations of numbers multiply to 6? 3 and 2. So negative 3 and negative 2 multiply to positive 6. Negative 3 plus negative 2 gives us negative 5. So there it is. So 2 times x minus 3, x minus 2. Awesome. Since I factored now those trinomials, what's going to happen is x minus 2. So you see how we have a factor of x minus 2 on both the top and bottom? Those are going to cancel out. Those are going to simplify. Just like if I had the fraction 3 over 3. If I gave you this fraction 3 over 3, you would say, well, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So those would simplify down to 1. Same argument with these uh, binomial expressions. This is an expression of x minus 2. We have a factor of x minus 2 on both the top and bottom. So those are going to cancel out with one another. X minus 2's kind of made it a little bit weird. So those are going to cancel. Now we go through everything else. 
x squared. I don't have any just terms with x on the bottom, so that I have nothing to simplify there. On the bottom, I do have the two. I don't have any other constants here to, to simplify with the two, so nothing there. I have this x minus one. This is an x minus three, so those are not gonna cancel. So I'm gonna be left with x squared times x minus one divided by two times x minus three. And you can make the stipulation that x cannot equal some value. We're just looking to simplify here though. I'm not gonna worry about the domain uh, for right now. Just, you can make that stipulation though, but there it is. There is how we go through that problem. We have to take out that GCF. So very first thing I did is I factor out a GCF. And then after I took out that GCF, that generated some trinomials that are factorable. So I factored those, found some factors that can cancel out, simplify down. And then that's going to leave us with this as all of our leftover terms. So there it is.